right, so in this video, I'm going to show you four ways that you can transfer data from the Leo uh, to Artex Studio. So the first two ways I'm going to show you are mainly for if you don't have access to a internet connection or you just have a really slow internet connection. Uh, so the first way is my favorite way and it is transferring to an SD card and I will show you here, I just have my micro SD. Um, the micro SD that I recommend using, uh, as far, far as I know right now at the time of this video, the fastest um, speed class is a V90. So that's the type of micro SD that I'm using. It's 128 gigs. So first thing what you're gonna do, so I inserted my SD card in there. Um, now what you're gonna do is uh, hit select on the top right. And then, so you have a select a project you want to transfer to. So I've selected it. So now that you you have all these options on the bottom that pop up, uh, I'm just going to click copy to SD. So you'll notice this this window pops up and says conversion required. So if you want to uh, preserve your HD data or the raw scan data, then you have to encrypt the project. So otherwise you can convert it uh, because this specific scan was done in HD mode. Um, you can convert it and copy to SD, which means you will not have the raw data. So if you want to preserve the data, uh, what you're going to do is go to settings, go to scanner, scanning settings, scroll down where it says encrypt projects and in brackets says AS16 plus. So that means um, any version uh, from Artex Studio 16 and newer. So you're just going to turn that on. Now go back. Now if I select my project again and go copy to SD, it's going to transfer it. So there you go. Now the copying is complete. We can hit done. Uh, then we can remove our SD card. And we also have our uh, a USB Type-A adapter. Um, it's a 3.0. And we're just going to go ahead and put this into the computer and then go from there. Okay, so we got Artex Studio open here. And so we're going to be importing a Leo project from the SD card. Uh, so the first thing you actually want to do is if you go to settings and scan in here, so there's HD reconstruction settings. So these settings are, um, are kind of the default settings for when you import projects. So I have mine set out import raw HD data. I have that checked off only uh, because I'd like to use the, uh, the raw data instead of launching an HD reconstruction after the import. So you'll just set it to whatever you want and you'll just hit okay. Now we're gonna go file import and then Leo project. Click Leo project. Now we're gonna find our uh, SD card which is already, it already found it. So, and this one is, uh, my project is called a data transfer. So it is a uh, Leo file, so it's a .leo format, which is a uh, Leo project. Not an Artex Studio project, it's a Leo project. So once we open it, it will uh, load it and it'll convert it. So from here you can see I have my raw data and my standard uh, data. So from here, if you save it, I'm just going to save it to my desktop, call it data transfer, save. Now I just saved it as an Artex Studio project. So after you save it, uh, it will save it. You can see here it made a folder, data transfer. Now this is the Artex Studio uh, project and data. All right, so the second way I'm gonna show you is um, creating a hotspot from the Leo. So you can actually use the Leo to create a, a Wi-Fi hotspot, which you will then connect your PC um, to, just like a normal internet connection, and you can transfer from there. So how you turn that on is you go to the settings in the bottom left, you're gonna to go to network, and then you'll see it, a spot here that says connect to Leo. So I'm gonna click that, 
and you'll see it says wireless hotspot connect to Leo. So it has your hotspot name and your hotspot password. So you can you can change that to whatever you want. Um, every time you go in here, it's gonna it'll kind of give you a, a random password. So you can go ahead and turn that on. And there you go. You will see a, a Wi-Fi uh, symbol showing that it's on. And then you will go to your computer and connect to the Leo Wi-Fi connection. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to connect to the Leo hotspot. Uh, so you're just going to open up your uh, first Artex Studio should be closed. Um, usually works best this way. So if you click your uh, Wi-Fi connections here, you will see I've already turned mine on. So uh, you'll see Artec Leo here. I'll just click that. I'll just hit connect. Uh, and it should prompt me to put in my Wi-Fi password. Okay, so I'll just put in my password. Hit next. All right, so we're connected. So I'm going to open up Artec Studio. Okay, so when you first open up Artec Studio, there is this quick, uh, if you have this show up, there's these kind of quick links here. So you can go from here and just go import it from Leo. So right now it's searching for Leo scanners. Okay, there's one Leo there. Now, sometimes if you have it, say, not connected, um, I'm just going to exit out of that. Now, if I go file, I'm just going to go back into there. So I'm going to go file, import, and then Leo project connect to scan. Click that. Still saying not connected. That's okay. So another way you can uh, connect to it, if you see this happen, is by connecting by the IP address. Okay. So if I connect by IP, you can actually see, so up here you'll actually enter in the IP address, uh, which I will show you how to retrieve that. So if you're trying to connect uh, to the scanner using the IP address, uh, what you're going to do, uh, I'm already in settings and under network, under your Wi-Fi name, so right now we're connected to MyEng, if you click the arrow, you'll, it actually displays the IP address. So you will just enter this IP address um, and add it into your uh, your list, and then you can connect to it from there. Once you add that in there, you'll see it here. You see it's ready to go. I'm just going to hit connect. Okay, so I got these are all the projects on the Leo. So if I just click my the one I want to import uh, from here, you can check your uh, your import settings. Uh, if you want to import the raw data, just check that. If you don't want to uh, import any raw data, just leave it unchecked and then click import. I'm just going to use import raw data and click import. So there you go. That is uh, how you can import. And from here, if you hit control S, you can uh, save the project. I'll just call this data transfer to my desktop and hit save. And now it's saved as an Artex Studio project. Okay, so the third and fourth way I'm going to show you are very similar to the uh, Leo hotspot, um, except you're going to be connecting to your local uh, Wi-Fi uh, network or your local, local internet connection through Wi-Fi or through the Ethernet um, plug here on the side of Leo. So first thing you're going to do if we're going to be connected to the Wi-Fi is go to your settings, you're going to go to your network, uh, and then under the Wi-Fi button there you're just going to turn it on. And then right now I'm actually going to be automatically connecting to our uh, internet which is just called MyEng. But if you click the arrow you'll see a list of all the um, internet connections available and once you click on one it'll prompt you to uh, put in the password and then you should be connected and once you are connected uh, up here on the top right you'll see a, a Wi-Fi signal so if you're connected to the uh, Ethernet connection instead of the uh, Wi-Fi 
you'll actually see down here where it says Ethernet. It'll say it's connected. Uh, and you'll also get a little, uh, there'll be a little squiggly line uh, up in the top right where, where the Wi-Fi um, symbol usually would go. And that's how you know you'd be connected to the uh, Ethernet connection. So just to note as well, uh, out of the two ways, so connecting through Wi-Fi or through the Ethernet, uh, the fastest way to transfer would be connecting both your your PC and the Leo 2 Ethernet connection. Uh, that seems to be the fastest way uh, besides going over the Wi-Fi uh, speed. So it's just a little uh, tip for you there. Now we'll, we will go to our tech studio and I will uh, make sure I'm connected to the same network and then we can import our project through there. Okay, so I've our Artex Studio open here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to make sure that I'm connected to the same network that my uh, Leo is connected to, which is my MyEng um, network. So if I just go to File, Import, Leo Project, Connect to Scanner. There you go. So this is uh, the scanner here. Uh, you can see it's ready. Now, if I just go connect, I can see all the projects on the Leo. Now, if I click my data transfer project, uh, the same thing as, uh, this is the same window as connecting to the uh, Leo hotspot. So you just uh, check your settings you want and then go import. There, so once it's imported, you can uh, either going file, uh, save project as, or if you hit Control S, that's a hotkey for it. Uh, you can save the project. So I'm just going to call it Data Transfer. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Go save, and now it has saved uh, this Leo project into a uh, Artex Studio project.